Papers Circuit. James Wenceslaus Papers, an American neuroscientist, worked on the anatomical substrates of emotion, and described a circuit, mainly composed of the hippocampus, thalamus and cingulum, and published his observations in 1937. The paper's circuit about 350 mm in length, starts from the hippocampal formation, known as subiculum, and traverses through the fornix, mammillary bodies, and then through the mammillothalamic tract, synapses in the anterior thalamic nucleus. From there, it reaches the cingulum, courses round the entorhinal cortex and returns to the hippocampal formation. Mnemonic for components of paper's circuit, hemanetocat, hea hippocampus, limbic system, mane mammillary body, hypothalamus, et a anterior thalamic nucleus, thalamus, cat a cingulate gyrus, limbic system, can every hippo forget mammals are clever? Cingulate gyrus, enterohinal cortex, hippocampus, mammalian body, anterior thalamic nucleus, cingulate gyrus. James Papers published his observations in 1937 in a landmark paper entitled, A Proposed Mechanism of Emotion in the Journal Archives of Neurology and Psychiatry. He wrote, Radiation of the emotive process from the gyrus cingulae to other regions in the cerebral cortex would add emotional coloring to psychic processes occurring elsewhere. It is evident that the proposed mechanism of emotion will have to stand the test of experiment and clinical experience. If it is to be useful in science, the hypothalamus, the anterior thalamic nucleus, the cingulate gyrus, the hippocampus and their interconnections, constitute a harmonious mechanism which may elaborate the functions of central emotion as well as participate in the emotional expression. The concept of an anatomical substrate for emotion, did not start with the works of James Papers. In 1907. The Bavarian neuropathologist Christ Fred Jacob suggested the visceral brain and conceived the presence of an internal brain which subserves viscera emotive mechanisms. It was initially believed that the circuit papers, described in 1937 was involved with emotion. The persistence of pleasant or tortured emotional feelings, long after an event has passed has been interpreted in terms of the physiology of hippocampal after discharge and the consequent ongoing hippocampal electrical activity. The circuit connects the hypothalamus and the cortex and acts as the emotional system of the brain. He wrote, the cingulate cortex projects to the hippocampus, and the hippocampus projects to the hypothalamus by way of the bundle of axons called the fornix. Hypothalamic effects reach the cortex via a relay in the anterior thalamic nuclei. James Papers suggested that the cognitive activity in the cortex affects the expression of emotions through connections to the hypothalamus and hippocampus. In Papers's proposal, the hypothalamus regulates the autonomic nervous system activity during the expressions of emotions. Paul D. McLean modified Papers's proposal and included the basal forebrain, amygdala and prefrontal cortex, and coined the term limbic system. McLean redefined the circuit as the visceral brain which consisted of the limbic lobe and its major connections in the forebrain, hypothalamus, amygdala, and septum. Over time, the concept of a forebrain circuit for the control of emotional expression has been modified to include the prefrontal cortex. Moreover, some of the structures that papers originally described such as the hippocampus now appear to have little to do with emotional behavior. Recent studies show that papers circuit or media limbic circuit, has a more significant role in memory functions than in emotions. Many scientists believe that the papers circuit is involved with memory and have narrowed it down to specifically spatial and episodic memory. Damage to the mammillothalamic tract, ventral anterior nucleus, and ventral lateral nucleus can result in memory and language impairment. Amnesia can be a result of disconnection of the mammillary bodies from the paper's circuit. The fornix, a bundle of nerve tracts made of white matter, is crucial in normal cognitive functions and any harm to the fornix can result in amnesia. Degeneration or other neural problems occurring in the paper's circuit, results in Alzheimer's disease. 
Specific structures of the paper circuit linked to episodic memory are the hippocampus and other medial temporal lobe structures. As a result of these adverse effects on episodic memory, damage to the paper circuit can not only indicate or predict amnesia but also Alzheimer's in a patient. Parkinson's disease is usually correlated with depletion of dopamine in the basal ganglia. Damage to the structures of the paper circuit can cause Parkinson's by the degeneration of the substantia nigra in the midbrain. Semantic dementia is a rare degenerative disorder that exhibits defects in all semantic memory functions, including naming, single word comprehension and impoverished general knowledge, with relative preservation of other components of speech, perceptual and nonverbal problem-solving skills, and episodic memory. This may occur due to damage in the mammillary bodies, ventral anterior nucleus, and ventral lateral nucleus which has resulted in disruption in language. Alcoholic Korsakoff syndrome occurs when a chronic alcoholic patient suffers from poor nutrition and specifically develops a thiamine deficiency. Here there are widespread abnormalities in the papers and frontocerebellar circuits seen. The mammillary bodies are an important part of the paper circuit. If there is damage, such as loss of neurons and or myelination, to the mammillary bodies, the paper circuit can be severely affected. There will be a disruption in the connecting parts of the system. As a result, the ability to learn new information or to retrieve recently acquired memories is significantly reduced or lost. Transient global amnesia is a very rare disorder where patients acutely develop a selective disorder of episodic memory losing from several to 48 hours of previously learned information and are unable to learn new information. Damage to the hippocampus and other medial lobe structures in the paper circuit is thought to be the cause of reduced or lost episodic memory. American neurologist James Papers proposed that there is an emotion system, lying on the medial wall of the brain, that links the cortex with the hypothalamus. Papers believed that the experience of emotion was determined by activity in the cingulate cortex and, less directly, other cortical areas. Emotional expression was thought to be governed by the hypothalamus. The cingulate cortex projects to the hippocampus and the hippocampus projects to the hypothalamus by way of the bundle of axons called the fornix. Hypothalamic effects reach the cortex via a relay in the anterior thalamic nuclei. The paper circuit functions primarily in the cortical control of emotion and memory storage and contains centers that regulate aversion and gratification. Thank you.